It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. A special day Friday at the high school as three Wayne County athletes signed college scholarships to continue their education and their playing careers. We begin with senior football player Garrison Keith, who signs with Morehouse College in Atlanta. Here's our interview with Garrison Keith. There, Garrison Keith going to Morehouse College to play football. First of all, congratulations. Yes, sir. It's a big moment for you and your family. I'm just excited for you because I've seen your high school career. And I said, me and Joe kind of fell in love with you down there at Glenn Academy when we interviewed you. I said, what's this team here? And you said, discipline. <laughs> and unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of discipline and lost most of the games. But you had a good career and you're going to Morehouse. So tell us how this came about. Uh, first off, I just want to give all glory to God. Nothing, nothing that I do is possible without him. Um, uh, like Coach McDonald just said a few minutes ago, I've dealt with a lot of adversity over my high school career. A lot of things, a lot of things came up, but you know, I just stayed down and I prayed. And, you know, God brought me through. And uh, I always knew I wanted to go to a, a school like Morehouse that's hard on discipline, prestigious, one of the top prestigious HBCU schools in the country. Um, the academics are all there. And when I went up on my visit last weekend for the spring game, it just felt like home. Well, the good thing about you, you're all you're 100 percent all the time. I mean, you give effort on every play. Yes, I just enjoyed watching you play. I know Morehouse is excited to get you. Are they going to play you in the secondary? Is that where they're going to play you? All uh, right, now I'm looking to go as an athlete, so uh, corner safety or right now. Okay, well, we wish you the best of luck, and we're following you at Morehouse College. It's a nice school to go to, and right there in Atlanta. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Mr. Bob. And again, those comments of Garrison Keith again going to Morehouse College to play football and continue his education. Emmy Shelfin signs a swimming, swimming scholarship. She's headed to Piedmont University. Here are the comments of Emmy Shelfin. Here's Emmy Shelfin going on Piedmont to swim. Uh, tell us how this came about. Uh, I got a scholarship and then. <laughs> Is that where uh, you want to go to school? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What will you be swimming at Piedmont? Um, I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. What's the school like? Have you been on campus yet? Yes, sir. It's really small, um, so I really like it. You like the coach? Yes, sir. Okay. You had a great career at Wayne County High School. When you look back, anything that stands out? Just the team and coaches. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And again, those comments to Emmy Shelf, and again, going to Piedmont on a swimming scholarship. Third athlete to sign a scholarship Friday is Wayne County pitcher Asher Cathy. He's headed to South George University. Here's our talk with Asher Cathy. That's your Kathy signed with South uh, Georgia. Um, how's it feel to sign that scholarship? Feels great. It feels like I'm going to go play at the next level, and that's going to be fun. You've had a great high school career. It's not over yet, but uh, when you look back on your high school career, what stands out? Just the work that we've all had to put in, the work that I've had to put in, especially to get to this next point in my life, and hopefully it's just going to be a great experience. Well, Wayne County's about to enter the state playoffs. Your thoughts on that? How far can this team go? I know for a fact we're going to go far, far away. I feel like we're going to make it to the Final Four for sure, and I know we're going to make it to the state. Okay, well, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. And again, those comments to Asher Cathy. Again, he's headed to South Georgia. Again, our congrats to those three student athletes headed to college in the fall. High school golf team won the region championship. They're preparing for the state meet to be held in May. Here's high school coach Thomas Swilley talking about the region title. Coach Swilley, region championship for the golf team, state coming up. Uh, first of all, talk about the region championship, how special that was. Yeah, I mean, that was great. Um, two years in a row, getting region and area. Um, the way they do it, you know, they add the two regions together. Makes it more competitive. Had 12 teams there, so to come out on top with the boys team was, was amazing. Two years in a row, and then the girls making – you know, the state postseason as well, two years in a row. So that, that was awesome on, on such a hard course at Georgia National. You know, we're used to those wide open, flat, um, southeast Georgia fairways, and, and that was up there with a bunch of elevation. The, the greens were rolling great. And, um, you know, for our guys to be able to go up there and, and show out was awesome. The state meet's going to be locally right down the road. These kids are familiar with the course. Uh, where's the tough competition coming statewide? Well, um, St. Pius is supposed to be strong again. Um, Cartersville is always good, and, and then you got Woodward Academy, who, who's, who's also good. But those were the top three last year. Ended up fifth last year, and, and again, that was on a, a tough course that we weren't familiar with. So, like you said, um, you know, playing state this year at Okefenokee, we're excited. Uh, you know, these boys, that's like their second home. So. Ware County is going to be tough. That's their home course, but um, you know we we beat them a couple times there, and, and hopefully we can do it again. Okay, coach. We we'll look forward to state. Wishing up with the best of luck. Appreciate it, Mr. Ball. 
And once again, the state meet going to take place May 16th and 17th over at Okie Finoki Golf Course. The high school baseball team closed out the regular season Friday with a doubleheader sweep of Warner Robbins. The scores of the games 8 4 in game one, 5 4 in game two. With the two wins, Coach Justin McDonald now has the record for all time wins as a high school baseball coach at Winkin High School at 227 and counting. Breaks the record held by Jim Collins, who led the Jackets to their only state title back in 67. In the doubleheader sweep, senior Luke Boykin hit a home run in each ball game. Was intentionally walked four times. Last time, the Warner Robins coach yelled from the dugout, don't even bring a bat. Palmer Lamb and Aiden Hall each had a good series. Palmer Lamb went five for seven in the two games, while Aiden Hall went five for eight in the two games. Pitching held up all day. Good starts from Carson Shaver and Gavin Mixon. Had a long closed out, closed out game one. Asher Cathy, Brad Arati, and Jackson Dolan closed out game two. Jackets are the number three seed from our region. We begin the state playoffs this Wednesday at 4 p.m. at Monday's Mill High School. Game two is 40 minutes after game one. And if a game three is needed, it's set for Thursday at 4 p.m. Monday's Mill wound up the two seed from region three. They had a three-way tie for second. They had to do it by a coin flip. And Monday's Mill fell to the number two seed. Ware County won our region. They'll host a four seed from that region three, which is Forest Park. Coffee, the two seed, will host a three seed, Jonesburg. And our four seed veterans will play at their number one seeded team, Woodward Academy. With a win in the first series, Wayne will meet the winner of the St. Pius Chapel Hill series. That would begin a week from this Tuesday. We're we'll looking at the entire bracket tomorrow on local sports. 22nd annual Wayne County Exchange Club Golf Tournament is set for this Saturday, April 30th. Shotgun start at 8.30 a.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. It's an 18-hole four-man scramble limited to 22 teams, $60 per person. Again, if you need to sign up, contact Raymond Brown at First Southern Bank at 588-1010. You can call the Pro Shop at 427-6505. Again, the 22nd Annual Wayne County Exchange Club Golf Tournament. Always a sold-out event set for this Saturday at 8.30 a.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. Again, tee time, 8.30 Saturday at the Pine Forest Country Club. Atlanta Braves have the day off. They'll host the Cubs for three-game series Tuesday through Thursday. Braves on Sunday lost to Miami 5-4. Braves are currently 7-10. Currently five games behind the New York Mets, who are in first place. NFL draft set for this Thursday in Las Vegas. Jacksonville has the number one overall pick. The Falcons have the number eighth pick in the round one. And that NFL draft gets underway this Thursday in Vegas. NBA playoffs continue. The Atlanta Hawks lost Sunday to Miami, 110-86. to Heat lead the best of seven series, three games to one. Denver avoided elimination. They beat Golden State, 126-121. But Golden State leads that series three games to one. And the New Orleans Pelicans tied the Phoenix Suns at 2-2 in that series. More NBA action all this week. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.